Okay, quick word of warning. I am trying to give you an informative and and fun review. However, um, this does tie into some things that um, that I have not read. For instance, there is a whole character here I never read because she uh, was invented during a period when during the period after one more day where I took ten years and I wasn't reading Spider-Man books anymore. I didn't rejoin Spider-Man until issue two of a regular series of Renew Your Vows. So that, so I am a bit blind on that. It also ties into the Spider-Geddon event. However, um, I'm not, I'm not reading Spider-Geddon right now. I, um, but, um, if you want to go to Yellow Flash Comics or Yellow Flash Productions, uh, I can recommend his reviews of the event because... Um, I tend to try and cover things that uh, I don't see anybody else covering. And I really don't see anybody else covering things to do with uh, Mayday or whatever. So, yeah. So this has the return of Mayday. However, May Mayday, Spider-Girl, you know, Mayday's creator, um, Tom DeFalco, has said that this isn't his universe's Mayday because, uh, because there are various things that wouldn't have happened with his Spider-Girl or... Um, wouldn't have happened to his version of Peter Parker. So, uh, so yeah, this isn't the, uh, this isn't the, uh, M 610s, um, Spider-Girl, apparently. And, uh, and also, uh, the character who's called Spider-Girl in this, uh, I have, I have no idea who, I have no idea who she is. So, yeah, it also ties into the Spider-Island event, which, again, happened. I just know some bare details about. But, uh, well, let's see what happens. Spider Geddon. Some time ago, the spider powered heroes of many universes united in a battle to defeat the Inheritors, a family of superhuman beings who fed on the life essence of spiders. The Spider Army triumphed, stranding their enemy on a radioactive planet, and returning to their lives. The Inheritors waited. Read Spider-Geddon number two before this issue. So it's nice that they at least let you know where this tie-in falls. The Otto Octa then Otto Octavius, aspiring to become the predominant hero of San Francisco, used the Inheritors' cloning technology and opened a door for their return. The Web Warriors... Warriors, veterans of the first war for the Spider-Verse, came to warn him. Too late, their free inheritors emerged from the cloning tanks and killed Spider-Man, Noor, Spider-Man Noor, and Spider-UK as Otto's lab exploded. Spider-Gwen fought the inheritors so the survivors could escape, while Miles Morales and Otto disengaged Disagreed over strategy, May Mayday Parker, Spider Woman of Earth 982. So, yeah, this isn't the Earth of 610 that um, we've been reading. This isn't the Spider Girl from Earth 610 that we've been reading about. Remember that Spider Girl, aka Anna Corzana's inter interpretation of ancient scrolls from Inheritor's Homeworld turned the tide in the first war. Knowing they'd need every possible advantage, the two heroes left to see where An Anaya Anaya's knowledge of spider totems and the spider society could lead them. Spider girls! Writer Jody Hauser. And right away we see something here that I never thought I would see, and that is Jody Hauser being paired with a good artist. Seriously, I freaking love the way that she wrote the way that she wrote renew your vows but Mar but joe casada but but marvel in general and joe casada in particular were trying to tank that book after it started beating spider-man the amazing spider-man where spider-man wasn't married in sales they couldn't have a spin-off book doing that so they paired her with the worst artist i have ever seen given work in in comics and it worked spider spite renew your vows was canceled so anyway uh so anyway um we have um we have in some exciting battles we have a uh, spiderling P 
Peter and MJ's daughter in this universe. You know, Annie Mae uh, rounding up some rounding up some bad guys. Apparently, apparently uh, there are a lot of vulture villains in this universe, and there seems to be a whole family of them. But as there's winging away, she's still wa she's still wondering about her about her spider powers that seem to be able to see the future and things that are happening in other parts of the city, that sort of thing. That still hasn't been uh, explained yet. Her what what her spider sense is doing. And then she gets hit with a blast of something, and she and it's so bad that she starts fall that she gets knocked down and starts falling. Peter saves her, and they uh, go back home. Meanwhile, we see that we see we see uh, Mayday. We see um, Spider. Spider Woman, Mayday Parker. Again, I, I have trouble with this because there already is a Spider Woman. Uh, I hate. I guess to be to make sure every hero in this has their own unique name, they're calling her Spider Woman. Okay. And we finally find out where, what universe the Renew Your Vow, New Renew Your Vows takes place in. Here we are, Earth one eight one one nine. And yeah, we see that this, because of things that happened in Spider Island, we see that this uh, this uh, Spider Woman or May Mayday Parker isn't as upbeat as the one from the Six Ten universe. It's something to do with uh, there was something to do with her. Apparently, her brother Benji has some special powers that the inheritors are after, or some such, and she's been trying to protect him from inheritors. Yeah, later on in Spider Girl's run, she gets a little. Peter MJ have another baby, and it's her brother, uh, Benjamin. There's a spider or spiders here with an insanely strong connection to the web of life. Yeah, apparently there's something mystical now behind Spider-Man's powers. Apparent, and it's sort of, from what I can tell, it seems to work like the speed force in, in flat, in flash comics and, in for flash and that it seems to be something that gives that they all draw power from and gives them differing powers to different to de differing degrees and uh yeah mayday is taken aback because apparently in her universe awful things happen to new york so be it here when it looks so looks so um peaceful is having an impact on her And they're wondering how the inheritors may miss this place if there's a spider totem there, which seems to be some magical device tied in with this web of life thing. And that's when Spider Girls, that's when Spider Woman sees it. A whole family of a uh, New York Times billboard with a whole showing off a whole spider family of, of Peter, Mary Jane, and Annie Mae. Mayday, are you okay? Fine. Who who were who were we looking for? We know who we're looking for. Let let's go and find them. Annie Mae is meanwhile com uh, assuring her parents that she is fine. However, however, since she nearly f became a sidewalk pizza, they aren't inclined to take her word for it. Although I can say for myself, I'm not sure what MJ thinks that ice pack is going to do. I'm on your side, Annie Mae. What, what is that ice pack supposed to do exactly? Other than give you an ice cream headache. And yeah, I have gotten, I have gotten, uh, ice cream. I have, I did once get an ice cream headache from putting an ice pack on my head that was, uh, too cold, too fast. She learns that they were finally starting to treat her like a real hero, but now they're back to being per anime. A laments that her parents are starting to treat her like a hero, but uh, sh but it but um, now they're back to uh, being a little too overprotective. But then again, what do you expect when you nearly be when if they weren't there, you would have been you you would have been a just another splat. You would have been a splat on the sidewalk like a stockbroker in 1929.
anyway and says it's her job to help people but then she blinks out and she she says come on stuff is happening we need to suit up i guess there's stuff isn't there always and i can't and i can't tell you just how much of a relief it is to see this writing paired with just great art i mean look at mj they've actually done a version of mj who's either in her late 30s or early 40s who looks good who who yeah, this artist really captures it. I would love to see Renew Your Vows brought back with this artist, because this artist seems to get it. He captures spirit of character. Even Peter, he looks older, but he doesn't look too old, and they put age lines on his face to show that, yeah, he, he also is in his late 30s, early 40s, somewhere in that time period. And they look at... And then we see Spider-Girl and Spider-Woman taking over, and yeah, there are a lot of vultures, and... No matter what, it, no matter what dimension, no matter which dimension she is from, Mayday will always will always uh, be able to kick butt. That's what we hear. And yeah, I just I'm worried about my brother. I thought Benji was finally safe, but this isn't going to stop, is it? If it's not the inheritors coming back, it's something. Spider Woman, and then she loses uh, control. If it hit me, and then they see that there's a giant uh, vulture guy. But then Peter M. Uh, Spider Man's Spinneret and Spiderling show up. Call me crazy, but we haven't met before, have we? No. Big the Freds, are you guys okay with skipping this right to the superhero team up? up considering the circumstances yes i love this i love that they're not assuming they're acting like adults there isn't any and the banter is so much i mean this is better and and you know um i i'm more or less liking nick spencer's run but he has the same problem that dan slot has and that he writes peter's speech as a childish it sounds like a child speaking here they're having Jodie Hauser gets it, and I would love to see her put in charge of, of the main Spider-Man books because she gets it. She write, she knows how to make Peter fun and give him jokes, without making him the joke, and without making him sound like a little kid. So as you can imagine, uh, five, five Spider people from various dimensions of against a bun against some vultures, they take him down. Okay, explanation time, and please, don't be clones. It never goes well with clones. Don't worry, we're not clones. My name is May Parker. My parents called me Mayday. And Ian and I are... And I travel here from another world. And you're all in a lot of danger. Parker? Mayday? And you can actually... And, yeah, as you can tell, this is, uh... This is really a lot to take in. Not this is this is this is great. This is what I call great emotional moments. Is it is first of all you have Mayday who lost her who lost her father to these inheritor you know people back in Spider Island again. I didn't see that and the way Peter went down apparently didn't please um didn't please uh, Tom DeFalco. That's why he declared that that wasn't canon with his Spider-Girl. That was one of the main reasons, is he declared that it wasn't, can that it wasn't canon with his Spider-Girl because Peter went down way too easy or something. There's a family of... Let me get this straight. There's a family of immortal spider-eating vampires who travel from reality to, real to reality and kill us. Why haven't they come here? We're not sure. And there's something called the web of life and destiny, and it's connected to our powers. And you're not related to me or another version of me? No, Anna Karazana, there was a myth... No, Anna Karazana, there, there was a mythical spider call, and it's a long story. Wait, isn't that basically how the, sp how the Japanese Spider-Man got his powers? Um, if you see the live-action Japanese series from the 70s. And, 
you know, Marvel, if you want to bring somebody into the somebody into these giant Spider-Verse crossovers you seem to be doing every year or two now, bring in the Japanese Spider-Man with his robots. I want to see that in the comics. And we finally, finally get an explanation for what is going on with Mayday's spider sense. It seems it has something to do with these magical stroll scrolls and Anaya is Harry and she can hear him. When she touches them, she ha she has a flash of webs and some sort of light at the end of a tunnel. This is what's been mess me messing up my visions. Visions? And he has sort of a souped up spider sense and it's being and it's been going a bit haywire lately. She blacked out just earlier tonight. Just just the one time. She's the one we're looking for then. If she has a connection to the web, the scrolls, Annie could be Vakita figuring out how to stop the inheritors for good. But we see Ma Mary Jane has walked off and yeah, in a very sad moment we find she she recently learned that Mary Jane in this universe also miscarried. <coughs> made made a just like in the 616 universe. And as you can see, this is very hard and yeah, this is a this is a very good emotional moment with very a very realistic one with MJ because at this point it happened like 20 years ago, but it still hurts seeing a version that, seeing a version of the daughter that she, that she lost all that time ago. Was her name May too? Yes, and I love how they just have it silhouetted in black here. This is great comic book. This is comic book storytelling go done right. Mom only just told me they lost a daughter years before I was born. Does knowing she lived in another dimension, in another universe, help or hurt? Come on, we have more important things to deal with right now. So MJ picks herself up, and this is the MJ that I know and love. More than any other, ver more than, more than anything we're, we've seen in years. So Peter and MJ are going to go join the other Spire people in fighting the Inheritors. Meanwhile, 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 Spider Woman, Spider Girl, and Spiderling are going are going to stay in this universe and look for a scroll or to, or whatever can give them an edge in this universe, and that's going to be the premise of the rest of the book. Earlier tonight, I was worried about being sidelined like a kid, and now I might be the key to fighting interdimensional monsters. No pressure, right? Let's do this. To be continued. Yeah, this was great. This was great. And I can't wait for the next issue. And I may end up buying Spider Gun. I normally avoid these things that have, you know, huge numbers of tie-ins, but I may actually buy Spider Get him, get him because of this. But um Yeah, but this I loved. All of them were in character. They all had really good emotional moments, and even though this is a different Spider-Girl than the one I grew up watch, I still like her and relate to her, and and she doesn't go over the top with the darkness, and I can't wait to see how they, how the three of them work together as a team. The only My only complaint is that this isn't going to be an ongoing book. I think they really missed a beat here. They could have had Annie Mae, they could have had Annie Mae teaming up with them and them going through the multiverse, finding different scrolls and jumping between multiverses and doing all sorts of adventures, finding scrolls, totems, and magical objects related to the web of life. That... That could have been something. I I really wish Marvel would make this an ongoing. But, as we can see, but nothing good lasts forever. But I'm really happy with this one, so I give it an 8 out of 10. This is well worth picking up. Pick it up today if you can.